Making a game takes time, even if you know how to code. In this video, I will talk about making a little game in Unity as a software engineer. Please note that I'm at best an amateur when it comes to Unity and I have even less experience when it comes to game development. However, it is something I've always been interested in. Recently, I decided to start, but more importantly finish, a game which you can now play in your browser for free on itch.io. The link is in the video description. The game itself is nothing special, but I'm surprisingly happy with the outcome. When I started, my plan was to complete this game over a couple of days, but it turns out I was quite a bit off with my guess of how long it would take. Although the big pieces were quickly put together, it was a long way to go until I executed my final build. For me, it is probably the most clear-cut case of the 2080 rule in action that I have ever seen. The main lesson I learned during this project was that every single aspect of making a game took me way longer than I anticipated. Just to be clear, before starting to work on my game, I was convinced that I was well prepared. However, even with the very limited scope of my Endless Runner type game, it quickly became a challenge to complete everything to my own satisfaction before reaching my self-imposed deadline. This mostly came from me underestimating how different my software engineering skills are from the more creative game development skills that I was lacking. To be honest, I did not think that drawing doodle art takes so much time. Similarly, I was surprised to see how much time I spent manually placing keyframes for very basic animations. I also did not expect that implementing a rudimentary movement mechanic would be something so maddening. And lastly, I did not expect that I would run into so many hilarious bugs which are now partly used as a backdrop for this video. In addition to the skill issue, creating this tiny little game was very different from the usual game dev prototyping that I do, simply because it required me to put everything I have seen so far into one single coherent package, including a game loop, scripts, prefabs, collision detection, graphics, animations, art, sound effects, music, menus, fonts, as well as a game page and some other items that I probably forgot. If you like me, watch game dev related devlogs and tutorials on YouTube, it always seems so quick and easy to build something. And I think this gives the wrong impression. Because as soon as you try to implement your own ideas that don't fit the template, you get into trouble. I also have a growing suspicion that many devlogs might cut out the dry, boring and repetitive work. But who knows, maybe it's just me who has to deal with this. On the flip side, I must say that even though I view the whole experience a lot harder and more time consuming than I had expected, I also discovered that it was way more fun than I thought. Sending videos, screenshots and finally the first executables to friends and family and then receiving some feedback was a welcome change as I usually don't get this with all my unfinished prototypes and side projects. Initially when I started working on this idea, one aspect was to evaluate how I would possibly perform in a game jam event in which you have limited time to create a finished game and make it publicly available. In retrospect, I can now say that if I had been forced to do this project over the course of a single weekend, I most likely would have failed even if I had given up on sleeping. But since practice makes perfect, I also think that redoing it now would take a lot less time and I might be able to make it. In any case, my goal for the future is to participate in a Game Jam event, at which point I will report back with what happened. Coming back to my little game, I like to finish with saying that my silly animations, my doodle graphics and my self-recorded sound effects still make me chuckle, even after seeing and hearing them hundreds of times. Personally, I consider this a success for my first attempt at creating a finished game. As mentioned before, Give it a try by using the link in the description and let me know what you think. That's it and I thank you for watching.